welcome to Period Attire Talk Time. I'm Tara, and today I'll be um, telling you my um, thoughts on the Maluna Menstrual Cup. Um, I made a review before, but this, these are my updated thoughts. Um, after using it for a little more time, I've actually come to really love it. In my first review, I kind of said that it was okay, but I would rather run the classic because it was just too much hassle. Um, but now I haven't mastered, so now I would suggest the Maluna Soft Menstrual Cup. Um, so this is my Maluna Soft Menstrual Cup. Um, it's a small. It's in their pink. They don't really have innovative names like the Lady Cup, Lotus, you know. So this is just their pink with the um, classic stem. And what I actually really love about this cup, and I found that I really love it, um, I have a tilted cervix. Actually, every part of my body is tilted. My ears are tilted. My eyes are tilted. Um, everything in my body slants this way, and my hair always tilts this way. I'm just slanted, and I found it so is my vagina. You don't need to know that. But um, when I put my cup in, it's so weird because the walls of my vagina are slanted, but then the opening, the skin there is straight, so this stem always is kind of like this. It's always in my body kind of slanted, and it's it kind of, it doesn't poke me. It just kind of rests on my wall of my vagina there and it doesn't hurt and I, I think it would if this was not rounded the way it is see how it's rounded it's not like bumpy with like these great grip rings um, but it's actually really easy to get out because you know you can grab on the little balls and I think it's great but um so yeah I don't really want to cut it because if it's um I don't want to cut one ball up because if it would still be um, digging kind of, you know, a bit uh, near me, I, I'm afraid that I would cut it maybe rough and then it would actually irritate me. It doesn't know, but when I take it out, it's a little sore. Um, so I, I'll, I'll figure that out. I might get a ball stem uh, in my next cup or something like that. So I'm hoping to get the um, Bella cup, and they have the little, like, bubbles on the stem. So I'm thinking that should be really easy to cut. And so I, I'll probably end up cutting this someday, but we'll see, you know. So... Um, when I first got my menstrual cup, I was using the punch down fold. And this is how you, you just put it like this. And I would slide it in, and I would put it in. And then I would think, oh, it's popped out, you know, I'm good to go. Yeah. I reach my finger up, and I'm like, okay, I can't really reach all the way to the top, but I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, we're good. Um, but I found that with the punch down fold, what was happening is it wasn't popping out all the way because it was too tight. And there was just not enough tension on the cup to really, you know, encourage it to pop open. So it would be like this the entire time. And the reason I found that out was when I started to bleed, like, up to about, up to about here, it would start, you know, to leak out, right? Um, so <laughs> it was kind of annoying. And I'm like, uh, I'm leaking on the cup already? But then when I take it out, um... I would say there's a little indent there because it's a soft cup and it had been there for like, you know, eight hours. It has a little indent in it, just showing that it's been pushed down all day. And when I would take it out, it would still be in this position. So I, I realized that it wasn't right. Um, also because I could just pull on the stem and it would just glide out because there was no suction. Um, so I knew that, you know, something was amiss. And then um, I was making my menstrual cup fold video. Um, and I, I uh, showed how to do the diamond fold, which I actually had never tried, which is why you do it like this. You fold down one end, and then you slide it up. And because there's so much tension on this um, cup, and I love that it's very narrow too, um, it, it kind of forces the cup to actually pop open right away. Um, so that worked great for me. Um, so now um, I actually, the last time I used it, well, my last time that I used it on my cycle, I actually got a year ago. <laughs> That's so cool. And so I really knew it was it was forming a suction. And I knew that it was forming a suction because when I would pull on the stem, I actually feel like my inside was kind of being pulled down. It wasn't really comfortable. So then um, I said I could actually reach up to the top of the rim and pop it and, like, you know, bring it down. Well, as when it was, um, whereas, or well, as <laughs> it was popped down like this. I couldn't reach my finger up, um, all the way up here, but I thought, um, I'm sure it's popped in, I just can't reach it, I'm too tight, you know, so, if it's in all the way, you should be able to reach up to the very edge of the room and feel all the way around it, and because it was pushing against my vagina, it was so sensitive to go back up here, because it was, like, pushing, 
I was like, oh, it's so sensitive, I can't touch it. Um, but now I can go all the way around my cup and there's no peeling pain sensation at all. So, yeah, um, I really like this cup a lot. Um, it's a very squishy cup. It's like probably the squishiest maybe other than Sabelle cup. Um, yeah. So, I would totally recommend this cup now. It doesn't take that much work to get in if you just have the right fold and lubricant. Um, um, getting this cup out is super simple. Um, now it's not as simple as I could just pull on this time and it would just slide right out. Um, and if that's the thing, maybe you have a cup that doesn't create a suction or it's just not creating a suction, so work on that. And, <laughs> you know, just, yeah. So, because I'm not just pulling on the stem now, I, um, what I do is I kind of, um, pull on the stem as far as I can until it feels uncomfortable. And then, with a few other fingers, I quickly grab the base of the cup, now that it's near me, and I kind of pinch it. And to break the seal, I'll just, you know, pinch, and then kind of curve it in slightly, or reach up, you know. And then as it comes near the base, because I've broken the seal once I've pulled and kind of, I just crease it. Once I break the seal, it's done. So I break the seal. And then it slides out, but because your urethra is up front here, okay, this is me, my back, and my front. I'm pushing in with the cup, and then these are the two fingers. Ooh, um, are kind of curving it into a little C-shape. Well, it's not really that great of a C-shape, but yeah. So it kind of makes it smaller as it comes out. And I don't want to do it too much, so I only do it towards the top. I don't go you know, all the way in or else all the bubbles spill out. I reach up to the top and I do that. And so, as you can see, I have it like that. The base still has tons of room. And then I slide it out. I let it pop in right away. Um, so when I'm really full, I, I, um, I still kind of leak. There was one time I was rushing. I was going to something and I had to rush. And I'd, I just popped the seal and I like yanked it out. Um, and I got blood everywhere. My, my legs. I didn't have my pants on, so obviously. Um, so I just got blood all over my legs, over the toilet, over my hands. And I somehow I got it on my back. I think I went to like scratch. I was just everywhere. It was a mess. Um, so that was a little nasty, you know. Like, oh, it's going to blow off my legs. This is like, oh, this is not fun. I was trying to do it quickly. So you cannot rush with an unstuck if you have to be patient. Um, so once you have it in, though, it's perfect. <clears throat> so I finally found a glass that um, works for the menstrual cup. I was using this craft champagne glass and it just wasn't working. It was like, ew. Um, so now I'm going to show you the difference between um, what I did before as in, as I was just putting it in, I did the punch down fold. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. And I'm sorry it's rich, but this is the only one we have. And so I was putting it in and then it would pop out and you can see here. How it still doesn't pop out. There's that little like bump there, um, and that's what was happening to me. And I see, I can't reach up because it's slanted. So I'm like, oh, I can't reach up all the way. I'm sure it's fine. Um, whereas with like the diamond fold, I would put it in, and it would just pop open. <laughs> it would just pop open. Um, it would just pop open, and then I knew, oh, everything's good, and we're happy. Uh, and then I could reach up all the way around the cup. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, it's really bad. But at least I found a glass that works better than the old one I was using. So it would pop open. <laughs> so it would pop open now, and I could feel up to the rim of the cup, and I could feel, oh, it's actually popped open. And when I yanked on the stem, it was no longer just coming out. I had to break the seal. And make it out. So I hope that kind of helps. Um, so yeah, um, that's that's I yeah. <laughs> that's fine. Um, I really love this cup now. Um, of course, I hope to have other cups just to review and to experiment. I mean, I love experimenting using myself as a guinea pig. Um, so yeah, I would totally recommend this cup now. At first, I'd be like, you know, yeah, if you want to like really be like poking and prodding yourself, then go for it. Um, even now I would say that I wouldn't get this soft if you don't feel comfortable having to more reach up a little bit more. Um, but um, if you feel comfortable with that and you really want just a really comfy cup, then go with the soft. Now if you're, um, if you're just like, uh, I don't really feel comfortable sticking my finger up there too much and I just don't really feel like, you know, really having to work it, just go for a harder cup, not super hard, but more around the lines of Lunette, 
um, maybe, uh, yeah, Lunette or the Maluna Classic, um, Lady Cup is a good cup, maybe not first time beginners because it has a really strong section, but, um, yeah, um, I would suggest this though, um, and of course, using a mental cup, you have to feel kind of comfortable still picking, picking your, um, putting your fingers up there, um, so I wouldn't recommend getting a, um, getting a menstrual cup um, unless you actually feel comfortable sticking your fingers up your vagina. Um, and so I practiced before I got one. I was like, you know, can I actually do this without freaking out? And you have to be mature with a menstrual cup if you're like, ew, ew, that's gross. It's just not for you and you need to stick with the pads. Um, so, yes, I would totally recommend this off now. It is so comfortable, so easy, so amazing, and it makes my period, like, a breeze. It really is amazing. I, I don't know what I would do without it. I'd still be stuck to smelly pads, and it would be gross. Um, and I don't even like pads, so, you know, I don't, I don't dislike pads, but they're not my thing, you know? I am, just got this part of my pants pad, and it's actually really comfortable, but still, um, over this, I would really wear the cup. Um, not this is a bad pad. This is a great, um, liner, but cup over liner and pad, it's just, cups are so much simpler. I love when I go to the bathroom that I don't see, like, blood in my underwear um, or on the pad, and it just makes me forget that I have my period, and that's really good for me, you know? It actually, I found that I have a lot less cramps, um, and even if I do, they're more easy to, you know, just, like, forget, because they're really mild, and I'm like, eh, whatever, you know? Because I'll go to the bathroom, like, oh, right, I have my period. It's like, oh, I'm just going to the bathroom. There's no blood, you know, you wipe. It's, it's freeing, really. So I would totally suggest getting a menstrual cup, and I hope this helped you if you were kind of like, I don't know if I should get a menstrual cup after watching my first review. So now, totally get the Maluna Soft. It's amazing. I was talking to um, someone who was emailing me about, wondered if she should get the uh, Maluna Soft after she had a Diva Cup. And, um, yeah, totally. Uh, it's the greatest cup ever. Um, I really like its squishiness, because um, I'm, I'm very... um. I'm active, but I'm not super, super active, so, um, yeah, it works for me, and I hope it works for you, too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and bye!